What you are about to witness will contain violence, disturbing imagery, adult themes, and may leave you doubting who you thought you were. Proceed at your own risk. Step one, one. Conjuration. Gather your power. Step two, two. Divination. Locate your source. Step three, three. Convocation. Fold space and bring the source. I gained what you asked of me. Do not mistake this for punishment. This is an equal traitor. Now look around you. Did you call on me again? Yes. Yes. As our existence wanes and dies, legends remain. We are the kings, the sentiments of the future. Many who claim they have lived their lives in beauty. What does it mean to be good or be evil? And that's a crossword. Be who they want you to be or be who they want you to be. Legendary mangoes, steel, sound, sound. Everything comes out of cost. In the world of the very small, there exists a strange and wondrous thing. A cosmic dance of connection and mystery. A defiant duet. And in this odd otherworldly vaults, particles are linked in a way that transcends time and space. Their fates intertwined in a way that defies your logic and reason. These particles move in perfect harmony, their every step dictated by the other's motion. What happens to one affects the other, even when they are universes apart. They are two halves of a whole, two sides of a coin, a bond that cannot be broken, inseparable in a way that speaks to the very heart of existence. For every interaction, that takes place, there will always be an equal and opposite reaction, a fair exchange that maintains the balance of the universe, a never-ending cycle of energy and matter, giving and taking, that sustains the very worlds around us. This fundamental rule underlies the very fabric of our realities. Whether you believe in it or not, everything comes at a cost. Whether you see it or not. Before we go, I need to talk to Titus. Titus. Yeah? Uh, could we... Could we talk really quickly? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I don't see why not. Um... 
I don't know how to say this. Do you, uh... Um, do you know that you're not... Our Titus? I'm... I, I don't know. How, how do you know? When Titus uh, duplicated himself in the wood, I connected with him. I can feel him. It's a counterpart. And since we got here, you felt different. And it's happened to me, I kind of, it, you know, I... I'm not the original. Um... But I can't, I, do you know? Because I, I can't tell if I'm wrong. I feel like I might be wrong. You're not. This whole time I've been wondering if any of this is even real. This place, it felt foreign, but everything has. At least since the wood. But on the brighter side, we're not alone, right? Neither of us belong here, so. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry, for what it's worth. Why are you sorry? There's just something to be said about feeling like you belong. And I'm sorry that you've been feeling it as well as I. Belonging is a... a strange concept. Titus. Uh. Even before I realized that I didn't necessarily come from the same place as uh, I thought I did, I guess. I never was sure that I belonged necessarily. It was a choice that I made one day to belong. I chose to. To wherever I was. With Vega, with Lear. You can choose to belong, you know. It's possible. I think so. I think so. I hope so. How long have you known it was after the wood? Since we arrived here. Since we arrived here. Are you okay? It's relative, I suppose. As good as I can be. At least I'm not running bloody through some woods or strung up in my own web. Yeah. If it's happening to one of us, is it happening to all of us? I don't know. Do you plan to tell the others? I'm fairly certain they know. 
I've wondered if Vega kind of understood a long time ago. Uh, and recently it's just... I think if they had an issue with it, they would have spoken to me about it, I suppose. Will you tell the others? I didn't get, I have not given it much thought till now. What's your instinct? No. No. Can I ask why? I guess on one hand I'm uncertain if it matters at all. Which Titus I really am. Which Jude you are. And on the other hand I... don't want a reason to not belong. Well, I, su I suppose that all I can say to that is um, maybe try to leave room for the idea that People can make you belong as well as you choose to. Um, you may be surprised if they. You may be surprised if you tell them and they find a way. Yeah. Uh, You felt it since we came here. Do you know where? I mean, I know that the Jude here is dead. Or, sorry, the Jude there was dead. Their Jude died. Do you know where your old Titus is? I believe he's somewhere back in Din. Not entirely sure where, though. You think it could be in the wood? Still, you think maybe that's where it happened? Oh, God. Could be the wood, could be the cave. I don't know. It's strange. Feeling empathy for oneself in a different reality almost like a stranger that Titus the one that I knew he tried to make a second version of himself so that he would be understood I don't know if what you fear is not belonging so much as it is not being understood. I suspect that that is a Titus quality. You're not wrong. I feel I understood that Titus quite well. Um, so I feel as though I can confidently say I can understand you too oh before you go um oh here take this I, I just feel like you'll need it more than I will your necklace yeah. 
It was it was my mother, so don't don't lose it if you can. Okay. I won't. Are you sure? Follow my instinct, what right? Does... Huh. Yeah. What does it do? I have absolutely no idea. Okay. No clue. Yeah. Right. So. But it's, it's got to be something, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. I have to go back, I think. Um, but, uh... You're going to be okay. You're good. You're going to be We're okay. We're going to be okay. Yeah. All right. Best of luck to you. You too. gave me this night. It has an address on it. I suppose we could start by looking for that. And I really don't think it actually goes to a hot dog stand because that would be quite strange, but maybe it does. Uh, all, all right. Might be a bit of both. Could be, uh, I suppose. That would be a nice welcome exchange. Oh, thanks for waiting. I'm not going to leave without you. Mm. Okay. okay. So whereabouts is it? Well, it looks like... about a 25-minute walk that way, I think. There's a sort of crude map drawn on the back of this, but... All right. Is that a street, or is that just a smudge? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Okay, uh, either way. Can I begin leading us? It is right by the hot dog stand that uh, Blackbird mentioned to you previously. I think oh, you'll uh, notice when you get there, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't really have the ability to uh, purchase hot dogs, but uh, can, we, can we get one to go for uh, Lucky? Uh, he likes mustard on it. Just mustard. It's fucking plain, but it's kind of his thing. Yeah, I don't really have a need thing to buy that with. Wait, Jude, you, you have money, right? You have currency. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have currency. How much, how much is a hot dog? Like, 100? No, no, oh god, no. No, no, no. Yeah, like, two. 200. No, no, like two. Like one, two. Like two dollars. Ah, maybe oh, three, depending if you get like the, the works or something. Right. Oh, oh that is cheap. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's it's basically just animal leftover parts shoved into a little tube. So like, you know, it's not that exactly expensive. We can afford two. I have enough. Um, Point of argument here. Uh, should we really be carrying around smelly meat while we're trying to do this? Yeah, fair. Maybe on the way back then. Yeah. You're taking the... I mean, kids like hat dogs normally, so uh, uh, I guess maybe you could get some food for the... You're really kidnapping, right? Is that is that what's happening now? Did I, did I gather that correctly? I... Okay. Yeah, why don't you say that louder? Well, I, I mean, I don't really have the ability to do that necessarily. Well, okay, anyway, sorry. How packed are the streets, by the way, narrator? There's a skull with us right now. People looking. Uh, go ahead and roll for me. Uh, whatever you would like. Whatever I would like. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, well, I suppose I'll roll to see if I see anybody. So just uh, my vision. That's a hundred. I guess oh. I don't see anybody. Maybe I go blind in the process, looking. 
Um, I think you're thinking about something else, probably, right? My mind is completely elsewhere. I... I've been told that we are going to find the child or something, but... I don't think I've been necessarily paying too much attention. Ever since I woke up, my head has been... killing me. It is... this fierce, dull, pulsating, just... Ah, right in the center of my forehead, above my eyebrows. Um, I'm not really sure what we're doing. I'm following Vega, I'm trusting Vega in this. And just going with the motions, I just presume there might be people around. I don't know, this is a strange place. But I suppose we're stranger still. As we approach, you'll see uh, that I'm sort of slowing down. I'm looking at this building, looking pensive, hesitating. Should we be doing this? <sighs> Refresh my memory, Vega. Doing, doing what? <clears throat> we just created... Din. Created our world, and, and now we are we're populating it to just begin the cycles again, to to continue everything, Seeding to make it. everything go on as it already has. But is right. that what we sh should be doing? Should we be maintaining this forever? Surely, there's something else to this. Are we just doomed to these cycles over and over and over until, what, eternity? I look at Vega in the eyes, I see she's... Uh, when, when I look at her right now, she's talking to me. What, what is her disposition? What is her attitude about what we're doing now? She's... I'm very conflicted. I'm very, uh... I, I think you... I uh, overheard at least some of the conversations that were going on inside the warehouse. Um, and, and right now, uh, I'm thinking about how there was a conversation about Erefir and about how I w was the reason for who he is and what he is, but not yet. Something I've right. done now or I'm about to do is created that, and something I'm about to do now is creating Lear as he is as well. And that if I'm the person who is pushing us to do this, then I could stop this. And you sort of right. see uh, this uncertainty and it's not something you think is very familiar and something you've seen in vega because you don't vega's not an uncertain person no to your knowledge no she's always been cocksure i <laughs> this person we're looking to find they they're me right that that that's what i i, I gathered if... Yes. If I am not to... To be found here... To be sent back to Din... What of you too, Vega, Jude? I, I... I care not for the bigger picture. I think I've said this before. If I... I don't know what I would do, who I would be without you. <sighs> I, I know you're thinking, surely there's another way, you know, break this cycle, whatever this is, but if it involves that, I, uh... I don't know. Is this all we've done every time? Have we been here before, over and over again, making have the same we? decisions? Because we feel like we have to. Is have there any we? way of knowing? I don't know. Do you feel like you have to right now? This conversation that's happening right now, does this speak of someone who feels like they have to? You do not have to do anything. What if not doing this? It raises us from... Existence everywhere. 
Well, that's what right. it will do, probably. Because if you make small changes to, for example, some sort of timeline, right? Those changes have a huge effect. We've been thinking on that for a long time now. Something as big as this will most certainly have a huge effect. Is is that truly something we want to risk? Vega. This isn't a decision that I can make alone. But it seems like one that you've already made. No. I think, if I may. Of course. Lear. This is you we're talking about. This is you, your life, the people you love, your opportunities, your path. What do you want for yourself? What I've always wanted for myself, I suppose. And Vega, of course. I am nothing without you two. It's not true. You don't believe that? And who would I be without you? Is this some twisted way of saying farewell without even meeting each other in the first place? If this truly is just repeating a cycle and we're breaking a chain, then it's all this... Everything that we've built up until this point is is nothing. It's moot, is it? But what if that's not true? What if we continue as we are and that's it? It just doesn't repeat. What if the Lear in there has an amazing life ahead of him without being stolen and taken away to a place he doesn't understand? There are so many what ifs because we, we can't see the... Maybe we can see the future. It could also just be his best chance. What do you mean by his best chance? I mean, think of this place, right? Think of all the things that we've heard of the other Lears. With Jude and Vega, you turn out the way that you did. Right, but as far as I know, this is not... an other Lear. Is he? It's actually me. Somehow. He's not from another reality. Somehow I'm standing here and apparently there's me upstairs. But small. Ah. Oh. Hey. Hey. <sighs> Take it easy. I don't know. This is all so much. I... I think you might be making it a little more complicated than you think. Says the floating skull. (laughs) Yeah. But... Time's fucky. What you choose is what happens. You're here. You go up there. You find yourself, you close this loop. Great, that's what happened. You don't go up there. Something else happens. Something else might pull you to close this loop. Or I'm not something else. Great question. I'm not sure you wanna necessarily take that risk, do you? I'm but listen, you're if here. I... <laughs> if I could You know, if we could break this loop, whatever this is, whatever these great beings that seem to be watching our every move, who know our every step before we make them, if we can break that, if I could just float into space and still be here with these people that I know, that I love, then I'll do that. In a heartbeat. You are those beings. I think you get to make that choice. (sighs) 
this... This doesn't... I, I think you see Leah start to fray a tiny bit, you know? Like, uh, all this existential, um, just heaviness. He's not necessarily able to comprehend it, you know? He's just... We've been fed so much information about so much in such a short time, and I haven't had a chance to learn, and things haven't snapped the way that I suppose it has to everybody else. I'm just being told that, well, I mean, first of all, I was the, what, well, the, uh, the, the successor to, to a throne of some kingdom. But the next thing I know, I'm not just the only one of myself, but there is an in, in, uh, infinite multitude of myself in infinite realms, and they're not just physical realms, they're realms that exist within each other, in different times and different spaces, and now, and now I'm here but not there, and we're super I... I think that if I, if I think about this much longer, I might just go mad. So I think I recoil, and I don't reply. You just see my eyes darting left and right, just... resigned. I take Lyra's hand. I think he probably hasn't even noticed that I've taken his hand as he's gone through this thought process. Not at all. <sighs> Bigger. I don't... <sighs> I, I don't understand. I don't know what is real anymore. I don't know why we're doing what we're doing. I don't know what we should do. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't... All I know is what I see, and I see you before me. I see Vega. I see, I see Jude. I see... I see my friends. I see my family. Everything else is darkness. Everything else... Is heavy. I want to know if what we're doing will erase anything like that. Do we get to just continue? I do not know. I don't know if anybody knows. How is anybody able to make a decision like that? I do it every day. I suppose we we do do it every day. We wake up not knowing what's coming tomorrow. We can never be too sure. <laughs> I trust you. Beyond anyone or anything. In this world or the next. But the second... The second you or Jude lose sight of what is... I myself am lost. Then listen to me. You... are Lear... and Blake Guard. Blake God. You are Lear. I am Lear. You know yourself. You know yourself I, better than anyone. I know myself. You've been in your own flesh, your own mind, seen through your own eyes, spoken with your own voice. Breathed air with your own lungs. As long as you've existed, it's been you. It's been me. <sighs> what of this? What of this other? What are we doing? What should we do? Again, as Vegas said, this is a this is a team effort. This is a a team decision. Astraea has a point. She does. Remember, uh, 
remember when there was another Razroth who came to us to help us. Right. He came to me before he left. And he told me that the Lear that we were fighting didn't have a Vega or a Jude. Okay. Well, in that case, if we don't send this one back, then he'll become that. I think this is our choice to make now, no? There's no guarantee that that's the case, but... All I know is that a Lear with a Vega and a Jude is a good Lear. Which I don't feel fully comfortable saying because I believe that you are good. Without anyone else, you're good. I know that beyond everything. <sighs> well, I am the only Lear I want to be. So, if we must make this choice now and do this, I will be without regret. I've had no regrets knowing that I was taken. None. I've gained far more than enough than I otherwise would have, I suppose. I don't suppose I know. And if the alternative is is a monster being out of my nature or something else then I'm I'm convinced are you I go where you follow, Lear. Your convincing is mine. <laughs> I suppose we have our own circle. Our own chain. Of our own making, of course. Just like these. And I show the bracelet that we've worn since we were children. Just like this. I hold my own up. Mine too. All right. I think we turn to Estrella, and I apologize for. Ah, uh, sorry for that scene. I I'm not exactly sure what came over me. <laughs> I don't think you need to apologize to probably the most emotional one here. Yeah, you gotta you know, make these decisions for yourself. It's important. Whatever you do will be the right choice, even if you don't necessarily believe that. Do you believe that? Yeah, I do. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be here. Listen, how much time do we have before... the flare, right? Oh. Uh, maybe another day. I see. Then perhaps taking him is to keep him safe from whatever happens. It's entirely possible, yeah. I just, I hate feeling like I'm out of control. Whatever I'm doing is preordained, whatever decisions I'm presented with, I am, I, uh, I think how much control do I have? I think she hasn't let go, so I just squeeze back, and I think, I think we have our choice. 
This is a choice to make right here, right now, in this moment. And we don't know what's happening after. To me, this just seems like one... One wound to heal. One stitch to make. I... I don't for a moment believe that we go up there, we do what we have to do. And I wake up again seven years old. As much as I would love to relive my childhood with you and with... with... with Jude. I don't think it's the end for us. It is not the end for us. We get to decide that. We get to decide that. Who knows, maybe perhaps it'll be different. You know? Maybe we'll meet Razroth, Titus, Astrea. You know? Maybe it's not a perfect circle. Maybe it's just, you know, the same script, different actors, perhaps. Who's to say? Let's go kidnap a child then. Let's go kidnap me. Do we, what a strange um, sentiment. Do we want to put some sort of an illusion on us to make us less visible? Probably a good idea. It's probably best if Leah doesn't get too close. So, maybe I'll stay with Leah and Australia, Jude. I don't remember much. If not anything, honestly. Except for... A blinding light. And two shadows. You feel pain? Right? I did. Great. I did feel pain. Not for long, but it was keen. Right. In the I... vision that I had, Lear. Estrella. You were next to me. Okay. When we grabbed you. So if we want to stick to the script on that, we can. Otherwise. Very well. How hard could it be? There. What was something you didn't experience that you remember? Something I didn't experience. Could you elaborate? Did you smell anything? Um. Oh. I was looking out the window at the traffic, the lights. The room was dark. I had one light on. I think the... The picture box was on. Something was playing, I forget what. I think it was nights... Or something. I remember the, uh... Oh, well, eons ago, um, uh, no smells, just shadows. It was like everything grew small. And then there was nothing. pick up a small pebble from the ground and 
Uh, I'd like to cast a very minor bit of magic on it uh, that makes it smell very strongly of uh, a smell that Jude, Lear, and I are very familiar with. Um, it's a very specific smell, the smell of the kitchen that we used to sit in every single day for lunch. Go ahead and roll for okay. it. I get a, a, I wanted like a 20 shift because it's extremely familiar smell that I'm conjuring right now. It's for Lear and it's involving a memory between the two of you. Absolutely, that makes sense to me. <gasps> 77 partial success. Doubles. What happens? I think the pebble actually turns into uh, a bread roll from the kitchen. It's not like one you'd usually find uh, here, at least in New York. It's a very strangely shaped bread roll. Um, doesn't smell quite as strongly as I wanted it to. Um, and instead, it's that, just taken the form. Is that a feather roll? It's for that <laughs> audience because it's shaped like a Dally Miss feather. Yep. It's dipped in honey right at the end. But it was that special honey, you know, it's like caramel honey. I miss that. It's been so long. <laughs> okay. And why do you have one of those? Well, uh, you said you don't remember smelling anything, and, and, and I just want to see how much control we have, how much we can change what we experienced, maybe. I see. It might mean nothing if I can never verify it to begin with, but at least, I don't know, planting possibilities everywhere seems like my best chance at staying on track, feeling like I have some semblance of idea of what's going on at any point in time, because otherwise I'm going to drive myself insane. If anyone has control, Vega, it's you. Great. You always <clears throat> have. And I hand the bread roll to Jude. To me. You're going to go in there. Just... Uh. Okay. There and I will wait outside. I see. Changing the script. Um... Ah... Uh, oh. Hmm. Narrator. Mm hmm There is one detail that I would like to confer with you in private. So sure. I'm going to just whisper you right now. All right. Uh, while this is happening, uh, everybody else, if you could... I don't know, you can talk. I don't know how long this is going to be. <laughs> I might as well try Excellent. one of these hot dogs while we're here. Yeah, I was going to say, they're pretty, they look pretty good. Might as well grab, but can you grab uh, Lucky's for me? I literally can't do that. So, I mean, can you actually taste it? No, I'm not going to eat it. We just need to, he, oh. he, I'm pretty sure he could taste things. I, pretty, I think so. Or he's been lying to me for like the last, you know, 30, 40, 50 years, however long it's been. 50. I don't know. I, do, do you think I have a great concept of time? I'm going to be honest. Any of us? Yeah, that's <laughs> fair. I would have assumed that Blackbird is, you know, over 10,000 years old. I mean, he said that. He said like 20,000. He said like he's five years old. He, he never gave me a straight answer. For all we know, he might have just been born the day before we were just... What does it matter, really, I guess? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Are you wrong there? <sighs> okay. All right, Vega and I'll stay behind. Good luck. All right. Astrea, you lead the way. Okay. Um, before we go anywhere, I'd like to go ahead and see if I can apply some sort of a, uh, 
a visual illusion on us to make us, you know, either very difficult to see or, you know, impossible to see to anyone who is not Vega, um, Lear, or Tim. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm very happy to uh, help enhance that as best I can. Ooh, shift. Kind of why I'm kind of why I'm here. Yeah, shift from Tim. Okay. Forty-seven success. What happens? What do we What do we see? I'll go ahead and I'll grab um, Jude by the hand, and I'll take a look at her, and um, you'll start to see a purple light emanating from our hands together, and then we kind of do that flicker that my double does, and you can't see us. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll start trying to loop around the house and see if we can find any sort of an entrance. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and roll, Rhea. All your your sneaky stuff. Your observe and your moving silently and things. Okay. We'll do the sneaking first. 49 partial. Why is that a partial? You're both invisible. So what happens? I think there are certain instances where perhaps uh, the illusion kind of slips a tiny bit and you'll see slight flickers, but it's almost if, if you're paying attention, you know, you'd obviously see it. But if you kind of were just going about your day, you'd be like, it's you like know, when you think you see corner, something out of the yeah, corner of your you eye look yeah. and it's not there. Yeah. OK, cool. Yeah. I like that. So it's similar to that. Um, and then we'll see if we can observe any entryways. That is a 90 failure. Now, what, what is that, do you think? Is it just like the doors are locked? Were you looking for an easy way in? I think I'm a lot more, or well, I am a lot more conflicted than I'm letting on. I was just going to ask you that. How how are you feeling about this? God, this is horrible. You know, I've done a lot of things for um, the sake of protecting Raz and um, for the sake of protecting, you know, uh, Titus and everyone like that. Um, it seems wrong to to steal a child in the first place but all of this uh, conceptualization of you know um, multiple personifications of ourselves and all of this other stuff has I think kind of been a little too much for my brain to handle all at once while I'm trying to keep moving forward so I'm compartmentalizing and it's hard to focus What do you think your double feels like right now? Mm. And can I have a roll from you? Um, that is anything about like either knowing yourself, uh, kind of more like a heart, a soul role rather than a necessarily a mind, but you can use mind if if you don't have anything in, in, in that. Um, or um, magic if you like. Either one. I have I have influence, uh, which would be heart to heart. I have uh, reflection, which is an emotional intelligence that role. One. That one. Yeah. Just because it's called Would there reflection. be any shift on this? Yeah, you can have a 10 shift. Okay. 69 partial. Okay. So you used a word, compartmentalized. And what I was going to ask you is how would you feel if you found out you were compartmentalized? alone why do you think. think you would ever compartmentalize yourself why do you think you have a double in the first place yes hmm I honestly don't know. Because the the whole thing is where she came from was when I was young and I was also very alone. So do you think 
Do you think it's possible that you are, you have always been in a state of superposition so that you didn't have to feel alone? Your, you've always described your other the same way that your fear described putting the realities in a state of superposition. Is it possible that this other version of you is not a different Rhea at all? It is just you making different choices, but the way you perceive it is that you can see her. It That's was, kind of beautiful. Yeah, it was a, a cry out to the universe from an illusionist who didn't want to be alone. And there you, there you have it. You see through the illusion. <laughs> you said ever since you were little and you don't have to share, but I am wondering what was the moment if we were to see it that caused you to snap into this state? Because it wasn't since you were born. What was it? So when, uh, when I was a child, we... It's kind of like the village raises the kids all together. The town does, in general. Um, but obviously you still have your parents, right? Yeah. And, um... Well, some of us. Yeah. They were pretty vicious. That's why they were so quick to give me away. Um. There was one day in particular where there was a pretty bad fight and I was just sitting by myself and sitting in the corner of the house. And they had finally left after hours of screaming. And I just thought to myself how beautiful it would be to have someone who actually loves me for me. So I guess maybe I made that for myself. And I've had her ever since. So. At least I had my own back, right? As we should. Not speak, please continue. When I was uh, sitting there and she appeared in front of me, she was like everything that I wanted myself to be, too. She was prettier. Not by much. You know, I like certain parts of my face. And, uh... She was gentler. Because I've always felt like I've been a... An endless storm. I destroy. That's what I do. That's what I was trained to do. But there's like an art behind it. And I think she helped me find that because she was just so beautiful. You were just so beautiful. It's Gemini. 
your twin? She's not a twin, she's you. She looks exactly like you. You are all of these things. I suppose I am. Anyhow. Sorry to... Estrella, I guess. She doesn't deserve to be compartmentalized. So, uh, let's go kidnap a kid. That really hit me. You need me Please to break in this room? house? Yeah. <laughs> or something? <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and get in this house. Holy shit! Why does this, um, why does this happen? What happens? I just open the back door, it's unlocked. Okay. The house is quiet. Except for the two of you. When you enter this room that has already been described by Lear, you see seven year old Lear. We're not going to go into detail, but I want to know what you're both feeling and thinking when you see little kid Lear here. Um, you go ahead, Esther. When I'm looking at him, I'm thinking about all of the adventures that he's about to go on. I see the bond between Lear and Jude and Vega, and I know that he's going to be okay, even if he isn't for a little while. Even if I feel wrong about this. He's going to be fulfilled. Jude. I don't remember him being that small. He's little. You don't really, uh, I think you don't really realize how small you ever were, or are. Because it's just you the whole time. And you get older and then you go into like your old house and it's little. Things aren't where they're supposed to be. Um, I see him and I recognize him. And he's my best friend. And he's small. And I remember being small with him. And it's selfish. Um, it's selfish because what I feel is that I can't wait to love him. And I know that I should feel more conflicted. But I love him. And I want him to belong with us and with me. Give him a home. Take care of him. Give him a hard time about using a sword. And spend our days together. And I pull out the necklace that Titus gave me and I quietly put it on him. 
That's what I'd like to do. Where do you put it? Can you roll for me, actually? Yeah. What am I rolling? Magic or mo something in mind. Your choice. Um, can I, can I suggest another option? Sure, always and forever. Is it the Leer option? Because you have a Leer skill, don't you? Unwavering loyalty. Yeah, go for it. This feels like a soul roll to me. Yeah. Do I have any shift? Of course you do. It's Leer. 10 or 20? 20. 20, you tell me. 20. Is my boy. 39 partial success. I think you know where this belongs and you know what this is. And that's all I'm going to say. And you can describe the rest. Uh, I look down at the stone that Titus gave me. And it looks familiar. It's a stone that I've actually seen for a long time. Uh, and I place it uh, around his forehead. And I put the palm of my hand on the stone over his third eye. Yeah. This, I look between them. Yeah. And I'd like to go ahead and just put my hand on Jude's shoulder. And I nod. fade out here. I'll protect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the stone from the old wood from Titus that was then altered by Blackbird is now firmly with Child Lear. And meanwhile, in our super position state, we switch to the others. And that was the first time I thought I had tried ice cream. It turned out to be something for an affliction of hemorrhoids or something. It tasted terrible. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think he just had Pepto, buddy. I don't know. Pepto? I eventually was able to have some ice cream. It's delicious, but makes your head hurt if you eat too much. That's too much too fast. You can eat a lot of it. I mean, it's terrible for you if you do that, but you know, too much too fast. Sure, but how can you stop yourself from eating it so fast? It's delicious. Uh, well, uh, impulse control, I guess. Hmm. How are we looking over there? We still have eyes on it. Yeah, oh, uh, geez. You're, you're... They're making choices. No, no, not that. We'll get to that. No, no, the, uh, the maze that, uh... Oh, yeah, it did. All right. Yes, was watching that? Um, I, I was when I wasn't listening to that riveting story, Blackbird. Um, I'd like to see if I can sense if anyone has been caught in our trap yet. Go ahead and roll for me. 
any shift? Um, you tell me. Um, it it's my trap, so I suppose I know what it looks like when it has been triggered. All right. And what it feels like. Um. Yeah, I think that's a. Yeah, and also I suppose it also has Lear also helped with it, and I uh, have a connection with Lear whenever our magics work together. They seem to bolster each other, so I, would, I believe that would bump up to a 20 shift as well. All right. Yeah, let's do it. 44 success. Doubles. Unreal. Um, question for you. There is an answer, and I will answer you, but I am curious if you think that there, if, if your trap has been triggered. If you were to make a narrative guess based on everything that's happened thus far, what would you say? I would say yes. I think it has. Yeah, it's always been already triggered, right? You've always had three. We rolled for it, just yeah. in case there were more, but you've always caught at least three. At but least you three. rolled a fucking three. So yeah, I think you know who those three are in that trap, and they're in Din. Superposition, time is not linear. Yeah. So the rangers that you trapped in Din are the ones that have Titus and are trying to find their way out. And I think you probably can learn as much as you would like about that. So you can ask me anything and I will answer. So you rolled a 44. Uh, I think coming to that realization, um, well, at least accepting that realization, I think I had already known, but I didn't want to think about it, didn't want to lean too deep into it. Why but not? But upon... Because if that's the case, it seems like I might be the reason that Titus was taken. And I... will not be able to live with myself knowing that. But... I have also always been very stubborn. I, to my detriment often, with the desiccation being a prime example of that. I want, my question is, from here, from this prison I've essentially made around Den, I want yeah. to know how I can... I want to know how I can kill the three. If it's anything like... the prison I've created... and the one I went to when I first got Titus, I claimed control of that. Yes, because it was always yours. So if yes. this were a movie right now, we would be seeing we would be seeing like a, a callback to me telling you you have a bonus 10 shift but i wouldn't tell you why this is what this is why you had a bonus 10 in that shift in that realm because it was yours it's your trap time isn't linear you'd already set it it's you have complete control over that area so in terms of how can you kill those three i think you'd have to you'd have to go back to din you'd have to go there You'd have to confront them. They're in your realm unless you are to squish your, unless you're to remove the realm. You know, you can remove the trap, but it's gonna release everything that's in that trap. I, if I can, and I believe it's my realm, so I will. Mm -hmm. I want to make it so that at the very least, I separate the three from the Titus there. Okay. So they can't continue their experimentations on him until I get there to finish the job. All right. Um, 
but I will turn to um, Tim and Blackbird and Arufa and Titus and just say, I think it has been triggered. There are three trapped in there. If they're sending any more, I'm not sure if it will continue to hold, but at the very least, the three they sent are dealt with for now. Oh, well done. Blackbird, if I may, can I ask you something? Hey, of course. There's just this... This phrase I can't forget, it's... Uh, destiny is what fate questions. And we are those that deal with destiny. Is are, are destiny and fate the same thing, or how are they different? No, of course not. They'd be the same word if they were the same thing. No, fate is... Fate is an idea. And destiny is action. You can't... You can't have this idea of free will or being able to make your own choice if, in the end, you never had one. Nothing's linear. Nothing's simple. You will always have a choice. And whatever end you meet, that is your destiny. It's a terrible answer, I'm sure. No, not entirely. So you believe it then, we... Does everyone have a destiny or fate? Oh, of course. Or have you? Not fate, no. Destiny, yes. We all have it within us to do so much. From the moment you exist to the moment you stop, you have infinite ability. Maybe you don't have infinite resources, but the options are there. The choices, the potential. Just like now. In this super position, the choice matters. And there's no choice already made. You have a destiny. You all have a destiny. I can't tell you if it's going to be grand. People use those words. I have a destiny. As if they're going to save the world. Maybe your destiny is to own a little shop, sell clothes, maybe you make them yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. It's still a destiny. There's no good or bad or right or wrong when it comes to people's ends. It just is what it is. I guess that helps. Thank you. I don't know if... What do you think your destiny is supposed to be? I suppose it's what we're doing now, right? Is it? You still have choices. It's not supposed to be anything. It just is what it is, when it is. It's not fate. You'll always have choice. others are up to. I, it seemed urgent. I didn't want to ask questions, but do, they do could I? do I? Do I, or do, does 
Tim would, but I'd appreciate it if Tim didn't tell us. Yeah, I, I, I ain't saying anything. Uh, Thank you. you. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> it's the way the magic works. I do that, and uh, one of me goes away. Observation, quantum theory, all that fun. Yeah, I... He can't observe himself at this point. Then a choice is made. As of right now, he just is. Okay. Then is there anything we can do to prepare for whatever they're doing? Um, if you want, what would you do if you could prepare for them coming back? I suppose it depends on what exactly they're doing. I don't know what I'm preparing for. So can we prepare? No. I... I think I turned to Arufir and just without saying anything, just kind of gives a nod as in, okay, I understand now. Yeah, I nod back like, yep. These are the stories I've been telling you, the three of you for years. All good stories, I'm sure. That was a joke. That was a joke. It's okay. It's okay. I know. He likes All to bring tension with humor. I do. I do. You know, it's it's, it's 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 good. You know, you never know when you need to just change direction, change perspective. Sometimes. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Don't. Don't pay him too much mind. Mm hmm. I do want to, um, say thank you, though, Blackbird. Okay. Uh, You're welcome. For what? For, I suppose. Looking after Ruth here? Oh. Well, to be honest, he looked after himself. Did you, boy? Um, sometimes, yes. But there was that time you threw me into a lake filled with, uh, bite gators, I think. I, I wasn't told about this story. Yes, uh, although I got myself out of that bind using the spells that you taught me, so did you look after me or did I look after myself? Mm. Oh, well, that's good, that is. Both, I suppose. Although I'm I do wonder about, I suppose, a few things since we're doing nothing. Um, why is it I was not to go to the other side? Now we're here at the end of all things. What could have been over there that was so menacing? different destiny, I suppose. <laughs> the, the burden of knowledge is, um, it's called such because of what it is. When you know so much and you could guide things, the first thought is, don't, don't affect things will cause problems. And then the next thought is, but I could affect everything, and what if I could get it just right? But the truth is that 
when you have knowledge of so much, you have to choose when to use it. And it doesn't mean that when you use it, anything will come of it, good or bad. I chose to say that to you. You could have chosen to not listen. Yes, I suppose so. Uh, I had the same problem, I suppose, with Vega several times, even with Raz when we were, what, 17? With the flame and the candle. I do yes. wonder whether I should have taught you any of that. Whose fault was the desiccation, really? Yours, mine, his? If it helps at all, regardless of if you taught me or not, I would have tried to figure out a way myself. Oh, yes. that's good. It's very good. Um, but Blackbird, what about the fact that um, and I poke Titus like on his forehead here and say. Well, this is not our Titus. What do you What do you mean by that? Yes. What do you? Well, mean? I suspect that that's not our Titus. This is probably not our Raz. Wait, what do you? Again, now ask. Me, what do you mean by that? Has have they not traveled with you? Have you not gotten to know them? Did they show up just, just moments a, ago? Um, a, a, a symbol assigned to us. We saw it in the apartment. Were you aware of all of those symbols? By symbols, do you mean the aliases you took or something else? No, the... The... Markers that tell us where we're from. Okay. From the test. Mm. Each one a symbol of the different worlds out there, no? Oh, Is that I not know the what purpose? you mean. Well, maybe, but I think my question still stands. Are these not the ones you traveled with? Are these not the ones you got to know? Why does it matter where they're from? No, it, it, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I take Raz's hand and pull him close and say, it doesn't matter if you're not my Raz or I'm not your Eru. That's not how love works. No. And then this is your Titus then, isn't it? Yes, I'm merely curious. I don't... I'm not sure, and I glance at Blackbird and catch his eye and say, I think I've seen everything. I have the sense that once I cast a spell so large that I touched every heart. And we all just want one thing. Yeah, to be held, to be seen, to be loved. And we're here now. I am too, and that's all that matters. I just... I find it curious, I suppose. To be aware that this is coming. To understand it. And yet... I do nothing. Or perhaps it was the same for you as it was for I with the desiccation. The message slung from the future towards myself, holding me off of it for some reason or another. Do you have a question, though? Did you know when you should 
interfere when you should teach, when you should stay away, or was it guesswork for you also? In a way, it was definitely guesswork, because everything is... You can be certain of anything and then make choices based off of it and still be wrong. Because I can't control who you are. I can't control anything. Not really. But I did trust you. Because that's what love is, right? Love is trust. You two trust each other. Absolutely. Maybe this isn't who was, but this is who is. Right now. Uh, did you trust yourself? Oh, yes. You have to. Even when you're wrong. You... you, you are all you have. Well then I'm content with what I have. That is terribly rare. Mm. I suspect it was a gift from myself. think you ever needed me, but I'd have to say right now, I know, I trust, you'll be all right. Yes, in an absurd way, I don't have any fear of what is to come. I'm quite, quite okay right now. Although, I am getting hungry. This is, um, a little frustrating to just slowly get hungry over the course of time. Um, I suppose it would feel that way. Um, I rather enjoy the process of getting hungry, it is a reminder that there is something good to come, as long as I can get to that, which is why I'm really hoping they'll get me a hot dog. This is when you smell a waft of hot dogs coming in through the front door. Oh, would you look at that? Right on time. Fucking perfect. Hey, watch his head. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Do we have somewhere to put him? Somewhere soft, maybe? Put I have him Can someone conjure a bed? That's right, Raz has oh. no idea. So when he said, what's happening over there? What are they doing? What he meant was, what was their objective and their goal? Not necessarily what they're doing, but Raz, you do see as they walk in, which one of you is carrying him? Okay, so Jude is carrying... Go ahead and roll for me, because I don't know... Okay. Like, I want to say you just know instantly who it is because of your connection with Lear, but I don't know if your brain would go, that's not possible, or anything like that, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll roll. Um, yeah. What would I roll for that? Intuition? Um... Yes, if you like. I think, yeah, I think that's the best I can do with that. Um, can I have a shift? I do have a connection with Leia. Yes, absolutely. 83 partial. Ooh, okay. So I think, um, sorry, Meyer, one second. I will explain in just a moment. Um, 
partial. I think you have, I think he just looks incredibly familiar to you. And I think your first thought is of your brother, but then for some reason you dismiss that thought, but they are carrying a little seven-year-old who is completely passed out by the way. And if you'll remember when Lear described the moment the stone hit him, everything went black. So that is what's been happening. So she's carrying a passed out uh, Lear. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and address the question that you've posed to me, uh, Meyer, because I think other people might be wondering it as well. And I'll just go ahead and confirm it for you. Um, you can be here if you would like to be, whatever Lear would do, but this isn't an other Lear. When we say only one at once, it's because there can't be or there is difficulty when you've got two different reality people in the same room, but this is you. So you don't have to leave the room if you don't want to. You can be present, but if Lear is uncomfortable seeing himself at seven, I think that's fine too. Yes, I think I'm going to be away aside. Yeah. And as somebody in chat mentioned, this is why you didn't overwrite yourself, because you are yourself and you're here. Right. Yeah. I will be with Leah. Dude, who is that boy? Why is he here? Uh, this is Lear. What do you mean this is Lear? This world's Lear is... This is Lear. He was taken and brought to Din and grew up with us. Lived a life with us. Became the Lear that you know. We are taken a child to Din? Where, where did you find him? At home. We took this boy from a family. And we've done it before. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not understanding why we're doing this. Our Lear is here um, because we brought him to Din before, and it's the only way for him to be here to do this, to make Din. And we talked about it. And Lear made a decision that this is what he wanted. And what of his family? Did they I don't have know. a say in this? No. I, I, I can answer that. Yes. They will spend the rest of their lives looking for their child, of which they will never find. But I'm imagining so you, you already knew that. Yes. It was a hard choice that they have made, but it has been made. So what lays before us is not a tyrant, is it? No. At least there'll be no more snarky comments towards me. So there's always that. What do you mean? 
I suggest we never teach him to speak. <laughs> I think the first thing I'm going to teach him is how to say mage. Yes. It sounds about right. Can we provide a bed for him, please? Um, yes. Yeah. I will try to conjure um, some sort of mattress, maybe not a whole bed, but at the very least something they can rest on. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Yeah, I'll just roll. Eight success. What happens? What does it look like? What do we see? Um, I think I... I feel guilty about taking this away from his family. Um, and... And I want to do at least something to make it better, even if it's only minuscule. So I thought I conjured up a bed as comfortable as it can be. So at the very least, this time with us away from that family is as comfortable as possible. And I gesture for Jude to set him down in the bed. I put him on the bed. Gently, softly. So... I think they would have found him, you know. The ones looking for him. Maybe it's just me trying to come up with reasons for why it's okay to do what I did. But he's safe now. Well, not entirely safe. Still, a, a few steps for us to go. Can I have my hot dog, please? Y yeah. And I go ahead and I reach into a plastic bag that has a bunch of hot dogs wrapped in like, uh, you know that paper that's like, uh, like half aluminum, but like half paper. It's really weird. They always wrap the hot dogs in those. Um, and I hand him one. Oh, thank you. And you got some for others. That's a much better idea. And I open it, start eating it. Um, so. Yes, could I have one, um, Australia? <laughs> yeah, I'd like I'll put one too. Put the too. bag on the table. I got you too, Titus. Thank you. I turned to Rufair. You said you're hungry? Um, yes, this is... Uh, it looks nothing like a dog. No, that'd be yes. terrible. Yeah, that's, terrible. that's kind of the point. Right. Wait, that's the point? <laughs> to not, not the point. to no, not no, look no, like no, a dog, no, you no, it, no. you don't want that to look like a dog. No, we could go into the explanation. So a not dogs. dog, gotcha. No, no, no. Well, yes, well, actually. Well, yeah, no. Then all food that isn't dog is not dogs. Yes. Yeah, so, so that <laughs> wouldn't be very specific, but <laughs> I have. By the way, just to let you all know, there are some rangers trapped in there. Our maze worked. I have a question for you then. Before we move on, do you wish to release them? No. Okay. Eh. Yeah. But we will need to move on, because we are not quite safe. 
Lea isn't quite safe. Yeah, so what is the plan next now that we have this young Lear and ours is not quite safe either? Where do we go to next? What place should we go to next? Well, we need to relocate him to Den. Mm. Yes. So, what are we waiting for? The only way I know back to Din is the lucky rabbit. No? Well, that's always hard to say, but uh, in theory, absolutely. I'm sure we could conjure up something. What do you Would mean? someone like to try? I suppose I could give it a try. If nope. you wish. I'm sorry, but I fucking hit your song. I hit your theme song before you said, I'm going to do it because I knew you were going to do it. Fuck. Sorry. Go ahead. Roll for it. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, from what I understand, and you told me this, narrator, mm-hmm. I have bits and pieces of the memory of the other Razroth, yes. and he traveled through realms, not with ease, but considerable ease compared to most. Yes. So that would be a shift in that case. Yes. And I am, I want to reach out to the walking woods. Okay. As an anchor point. Ah. Um, as somewhere I'm aiming for. They, five years ago, in Din, at the very least, they recognized me to the point that they all bowed before me. Yes. I didn't understand why then. And frankly, I won't pretend to understand why now, but I want to use that as a point, a landing point. Um. Holy shit. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, uh, you can also have a uh, shift. Why was I going to give you a shift? Very minimum, because I'm here, probably. No, I mean, yes, we could give him a shift, but I was going to give him, no matter if he had 20, I was going to give him 10 extra for something, and I've already forgotten what it was, because I was so... Oh, because you're at a crossroads. I'm at a crossroads. Okay. And here you go. Yeah. Here's your shift. Oh, boy, this could go terribly great or terribly wrong. Okay. Okay, 50 partial. 50 right on the line. Okay. I know why this fails. If you would like to let me take over the narrative, I'll give you something fucking awesome for it. You don't even need to give, I mean, I'll take something awesome, sure, but you awesome. don't need to bribe me with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can it's take. not bribery, it's equal trade. Okay, I yep. need you to roll again for me and I need you to roll your magic. Okay, any and shifts? Same, same shift as last time, which is your 30 shift. Ninety partial. Partial success. Okay. Here's what happens, and I cannot believe that your rolls just line up with this. You go to anchor point to the walking wood, but the walking wood isn't made yet because you didn't add anything to Din. Your next roll adds the walking wood to Din. However, it's a partial success. They can't walk yet. So eventually they will end up picking up and walking, and they bow to you because they recognize their creator. It's a baby wood. I did add to Din, though. What did you add to I Din? I did the rain. Oh, you did the rain? The water. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they're not there yet, so I'm going to just say yeah. you add them now because it's too fucking badass, dude. Yeah. It's too good. You got to do it. 
Um, okay, but this means that you can anchor to them if you'd like, because now they're ended. So I think what you see is I close my eyes and reach out and I try to push past the veil of this realm. Mm -hmm. um, and I begin to see the threads that come out of Din from every single person, living creature, inanimate creature in Din. And I recognize the threads that came from the walking wood. And I grab them and I connect them to our space so we can essentially, for lack of a better term, walk along those ropes to the walking wood. Yes, okay. I love this. Um, who are they singing to? Because the walking wood sings like strange whale songs. I have had an answer prior to this, but I'm just going to take that lore away and allow you to take over because you've now created the walking wood. So do you know the song that they're singing and do you know who they sing to? I think when they first, when I first saw the walking wood, I didn't know the song. I didn't know who they were singing to. It was a thing that was told through um, generations as a story. Um, but I think now, I think I know that they're singing to me. And I think it's because of the rain and the water I brought to grow them that they see me as, um, I suppose their parents, that I brought them to life. And that was their way of thanking me. And for everyone but maybe a roof here, you can see very clearly the rift that we have to walk through before we can get to the walking wood. I would have to guide a roof here because they do not have the yeah. eyes for the magic anymore, but it's almost like a perfect tear in space. Now this was a partial success. Would anyone like to roll to try to make this portal a little bit more stable? Anyone? I. Okay. I. Could, yep. You yep. can. The thing is, is that I I don't think like I do alchemy. So I don't know in what way I could make this portal more stable other than trying to stabilize the portal atoms. Okay. So I will do that, I guess. All right, go ahead. Do you have a shift? I don't think so, actually. I okay. don't think I... Or maybe there's like a negative shift because I'm interacting with I was going to give Raz's you a minus magic. 10 shift, so I was hoping that yeah. you would be like it. Yeah, okay. Hey. Yeah, six no. failure. What happens? Um, I think maybe I make it less stable. Okay. Maybe there's a time limit on it now. Ah, uh, okay. Like it's, yeah, half life or something. Okay. Yeah, there's a time uh -huh. limit. I'll put out my hand and I will uh, I'll look at Jude and say I can't stop the time but I can make it stable enough for us for now but we will have to hurry okay I'm sorry no no never be sorry for trying you should get a little Big bit later. Yeah. Well, before we grab them, someone needs to carry this Lear through. Who would like to do that? Uh, I 
think it should be Vega. I brought him here. And I think there's something meaningful about her bringing him the rest of the way. Um... Yeah. Very good. Vega! I'm coming, Claire? I'm coming! Did you get a hot dog? Uh, do I, I have, don't have to, to wait? Try one. No. Come on. Hey. Come. Um, wait, uh, Jude, could you maybe go and sit with Lyra? I just, I don't want him to be alone. Uh, I'm, yeah, but I'm we not have a to child. Get... Not a child. Oh. You're a friend. And I care Are about we... you. <laughs> Are we leaving? Yes, and there's yes. a bit of a time limit, so there's a small rush. Oh, um, then let's let's go. I. Okay, let's go. Lead the way. Well, let's do it properly. Ega, you're properly. going to be carrying. Young Lear there. Let's see, who... Who does go first? What do you mean? Someone has to be first. Someone has to be last. I know who is last. But I can't remember who's first. I yep. can go first. At the very least, maybe I can keep it a bit more stable from the other side as well, if need be. If he's going in first, then I suppose it's only prudent if I go next. I'll go second, actually. Of course. After you, mage. Um, before we go... Do we have... How long do we have? A mm, few minutes, I imagine. Would you like a timer? Um, no, it's okay. Uh, oh, fine. I would have liked to have done that. It's fine. All right. We, okay. Raz is Should going go? through. Go ahead and roll for me. Okay. I'm assuming that, um... Estrella will be somewhere near Raz in this list, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt, but I'm definitely following Raz very closely as well. Um, what okay. do you need to roll? Um, you're going to roll your magic, and then you're going to roll something related to your mind, like any sort of defense as you're going through here. Defense, okay. Um, any shifts for my magic roll? Yes, you can have 10 shift. Okay. Seven success. What happens? Um, I think it's a case of I step through and it's, it's almost like a tunnel. You see the space between, for a moment, you see multiple threads coming out of the planes that were traveling across and I think you see how Razroth sees magic as these threads most people wouldn't you understand that to him everything seems to be connected in some way and he's been able to understand how to manipulate them from a distance um, and I think I see why Jude's magic might have gave it a half-life and I patch that up as I go along. Okay. I, I'm also going to say that because this was so wonderful, everyone can have a 10 shift on top of whatever other bullshit you guys come up with for your own shifts for going through. And now the mind. Um, I guess the best I have is conceal. Um, you could um, also add the shift that you just gave to yourself here as well. Okay. 31 partial. Okay, I will tell you after. 
So go ahead and go through. He goes through. Who's next? I think human boy Aaron. said he was going. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, so you got to go ahead and roll your mind. Okay. Hold his hand With tightly. Shift. Tightly. You have the 10 shift from Raz. Do you have any others? I would like to give another shift because I will be holding the Rufus hand. Okay, so you have a 20 shift. Okay. I glance back at Blackbird as he says that and then I'm dragged through because Raz is stronger than me. <laughs> 67 <laughs> partial success. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to assume that it's either Lear or Rhea that's next, right? I'm going to let Razroth and his wards go first. Yep, okay. Yeah, I'll be stepping through uh, next, but I'll make sure that I take a look at everyone that's still there. Roll for and me. really digest them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, roll a soul stat of something that you have. Hmm. I've got... General social or influence. I'm not sure which would be applicable. Let's roll a 1d2. One. We'll go with the first one. Okay. And it'll just determine what information I give you, how I give it to you. Alrighty, is there any sort of a shift on this? You have the 10 shift from Raz. Gotcha, okay. 51 partial. Your eyes fall on Titus and Jude a little bit longer before you step through. And uh, should I also be rolling for going through? Mm Mm-hmm. All right, is my illusion okay for that, or should I be yep. doing something like intuition? Illusion okay. is perfect. Oh my god! One, one critical success. Oh, right, you guys can't see this. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on <laughs> it, y'all. I'm on it. I'll just hide myself. Okay, you've rolled a one. I already know what this is for, um, so I'm going to use it if you don't mind. But I'll tell go you in a minute it. what happens. Okay, but describe what it's like when you go through this. I This is... I think, I feel like the scene before we had our Neo moment where you like woke up and you knew exactly who you were and you know, the power that you've had this whole time. And you know, you've put yourself in a state of superposition and now you're no longer that way. You're solid in your hole and now you're just like superhero, <laughs> sort of. So you just are like, yes, I can do this. Are you kidding me? Cause you're essentially like rolling with the power of two, two people now. So that's in my brain, that's my headcanon. But anyway, what does it look like? As I'm stepping through, you would notice the other Estrella just start to flicker next to me. And then she'll take my hand and go through with me. Okay. Oh boy. All right, who is next? I look to Lear and say, you all should go before me. If I get stuck here, it's not a big deal, but trust me, you guys should go. I don't understand what you're saying, Titus. You belong with them. Go. No, no, let him play the hero. Listen, we have two Lears here that need to go through. We can't just bitch about it. Go ahead. (laughs) Okay, all right. I walk up to the portal and wait a moment until I see Jude and Vega nearby. I'm... I'm going to try and interlock my arms (laughs) into theirs, even though Vega's carrying some child, and uh, go. I, I don't look at young Leah, I I don't have any convictions against what we're doing here, it's just 
It's just so weird, so different, so, uh... I think you would struggle to link arms with Vega. Okay. She's All right. carrying a child. It's quite difficult. Okay. Well, in that case, I go. Uh, you don't have to roll, because she, Vega rolled a one. And basically, there's a residual effect you can go through with no problem. Okay. And I go. Go ahead, Jude. Vega. Vega. Okay. Can I take a look at this child that I've gently picked up in my arms and I'm not walking, I am floating again right now as I try and be as gentle as I can. And as she moves away uh, quickly before she does, I'm going to give her a quick kiss and say, see you on the other side. Sniffle a little bit. You see it? Just a tear roll down her cheek a little. Hey, yeah. Uh, lucky? Hmm. Yes. Hey, you want to call our apprenticeship over now? <gasps> well, that's up to you. All right. And I uh, float up and with a little bit of magic that I have, uh, attach myself to Vega's belt. <sighs> okay. All right, I guess... I guess we're a team now. Yeah, you kind of did this to me, so you can take the blame for that one. And I smile a little bit, but I actually just sob a tiny bit harder hearing him say that. And I walk through with Leah. Uh, you can roll for me, please. Um, roll your regular roll and then roll um, some sort of mental protection. I'm going to have a plus 20 for my regular roll because I added the magic to Din. That is my own flavor of magic that I yep. understand that I'm in tune with. Yep. And plus, don't forget, you get the 10 from Raz. So now you got 30. Oh, 30. It's the uh, partial. Okay. 86. And... Uh, yep. Yeah. And then your magical protection. 51. Oh, uh, partial. You after. Okay. So, um, I think... What happens here is not, again, sometimes when we get a partial, it doesn't mean that we fail what we're doing. It just means there are other consequences to it. And I just think, unless you can think of something else, I feel like it's anxiety inducing for you to bring little Lear through here. You get through okay, but there's just an anxiety bubbling in you. And I think you think it's because of this. Yeah, I am racked with guilt right now yeah, and okay. feeling absolutely right. terrible in every way. So I just attribute it to that and fear. Okay. Uh, but you make it through. Who's next? I turn towards Jude. And I smile. And then I turn towards Titus. And I say... <laughs> Play the hero. That was a good one. And then I walk through. You go. It's better if I take up the rear. You're... you're sure? Yeah. I can clear it out. It's better. It's a good position for me. I look over to the maze. And then back to Jude. At least we're alone together. Right. Yeah. I turn to step into the portal, and before I do, I glance over my shoulder once more and just stare at Jude. Jude, go ahead and roll. 
What am I rolling? Uh, magical observation? Or regular observation? Or actually, um, don't you have a skill that's like um, unwavering, not unwavering loyalty, but you have something else similar to that in your mind, don't you? Like resolve? I have I am control. That one. Do that one. Any shift? Yeah, you've got your 10 from uh, Raz. You've got right. your... You've got another 10, and if you can come up with a reason, I will, you know, I will accept, but... I know Titus extremely well. All right. You can have a 30 shift. Ninety-five failure. It is a fraction of a second. You see blood pooling from Titus's mouth. You know if he goes through this portal, he is going to change into the homunculus form. In fact, it may be happening right now the closer he gets to this portal. I rush Dude. forward, I grab him, I pull him run. from the portal, and I close the portal. Please! Run! What do you do, Jude? I throw him away from the portal and I close it. He I can't know. get through. But now what do you do? Uh. I will kill him. And that's all I know what to do next. I draw my sword from my back. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, and we're and we're back, and we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Dan, you and I are we're gonna cozy up next to each other because once again, I'm running a show <laughs> with so many people. I can go back to Skull if you need more. No, space. no, 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 no. We're good. We're go good. On, we get got, comfortable. We, we fucking, you two squish together. Yeah, we together. got it. We're gonna go squish on. ourselves together. It's totally fine. We got it. We got this. All right, who's first? After that, Hi, I'm it's Drac. always Jack. Yeah. It's always Jack. Yeah, yeah. Drac. Uh, I'm Jack or Draconics. I was hated Razrof today. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Draconics, S D R A K O N I Q E S. Ashim, one of the places, follow me on Twitter to find out what I'm doing at any given moment. Um, Jesus. <laughs> God. <I'm bored. laughs> me too, man. Me too. That's, that's a big mood. I Razov, I find it very amusing that Razov has probably the most dysfunctional group of wards <laughs> um, ever. <laughs> it's hilarious, but I love them so much. Um, 
Oh boy. You mean yeah. ward now, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> no, it's there's I two. There's still so. two. There's two of her, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's still two. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god. Um, I'm gonna throw it over to the wonderful person who played Australia. Take it away. I'm tired. <laughs> I played Australia today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can we see puppy, uh, please? Baby! Oh, oh my god. Did we god. just harmonize? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> the old boy. Um, yeah, you can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash failing. I'm playing, uh, I do a lot of role play stuff, voice acting work. Um, I am half. Uh, Latina and half Irish, which means I am 100% completely insane and violent <laughs> and should not be. Uh, should, should A good not recipe be for out, child out. abuse. <laughs> wow. Oh, what? oh my god. <laughs> Please, uh, I love how Faye was like, uh, I'm keeping it under control, guys. I'm keeping it under control. I'm trying not to reference it. Shout out. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> um, my role play today uh, made everyone cry. Yep. And um, yeah. like I actually could not speak. Otherwise, it yeah, would have just came horrific. out. Absolutely horrific. Yep. Horrible. So glad I wasn't on the screen. <laughs> yep. Me too. And uh, <laughs> well, I mean, so glad the crowd wasn't on the guys. screen. <laughs> And that's Muggle. it. Speaking of somebody who was on the screen, but that Speaking is of somebody who was on the screen, Muggle. Muggle. Speaking of someone who was crying on camera. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> was melting down in public. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Murgles. I played Jude for you today. Uh, today was insane. That scene decimated me, as you all witnessed. So, yeah. Desiccated. Yeah, it was so good. Like Desiccated. Me. <laughs> yeah. Me and Faith. I gotta Sorry go. About that. I have that effect on ladies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Honestly, it's an honor and a privilege to be your victim. So. Uh, uh, wow. Aaron, <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, we learned so much just now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much. This is uh, the best. Who's up? Passing the ball. Fire. Hi, my name is uh, Brad Woto. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Brad Woto or tablesorry.com forward slash twat. Yep. I've been playing a bunch of <laughs> Fallout 4. Um, we had a game vote today. I don't remember what it was. You'll so have to tune in the channel to find out. Otherwise, you can find me playing Barrow oh, Trauma right. with a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, uh, uh, which has been a lot of fun. If you like submarines and voice acting and such, head on over to twitch.tv forward slash Brad Woto. Leah. Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> are, we are we continuing this theme? Sure. Hi, I'm Murgles. Um, I am really good at art and very talented and I have a really cute dog and a really cute smile. <laughs> wink, wink. Uh, you can find me at Twitch.tv <laughs> forward slash Murgles. Look at the glasses. Oh my god. Mm, okay. No, right, no, I made it worse. <laughs> Is this our meat cute? Are we getting married? <laughs> Are we the Zeke and Classy Katie of Kingmakers? <laughs> Johnny, you're up. <laughs> Sorry. Get the blood out of your I mouth, have to Johnny. break the sexual tension. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who, who haven't we done? Uh, we Hi, I'm Domestic Dan. I have a very wide range that is absolutely infuriating to people around me. Uh, I'm really good at cooking and just really good at everything. It's really infuriating to everyone around me. Um, I'm going to take two seconds and out of character drop something that I realized, I think it was yesterday. Um... Originally, I had Titus wearing a different necklace, and I changed it when we went into uh, Pinestat and got that information from the computers. And I was like, okay, steal one out of PB's book because PB's great and does very amazing, subtle things. So I was like, I'm going to steal one of those. Come to find that this necklace that I made, that I have put very little effort into observing, 
is of St. Jude. That's <gasps> all. Yeah. Yeah. Curse! The show yeah. is cursed. Yep. Big, big time curse. I don't Aaron. Called ble oh, God. Hi, everyone. My name is Pumpkinberry. Uh, no, I'm don't. A terrible Thank you. GM. Thank you. I have no Thank idea you. what I'm doing. Uh, I Bless am you. winging it. Thank God I have so many people to carry this show for me. And I had a wonderful time today. I hope uh, you all did too. I put this thing on hours ago <laughs> underneath this one this with the hopes that I would have a reason to pull it off for no reason at all. It got me. And then it, it got happened. me good. Yep. Yeah, it was silly. Yeah, I felt like we needed just a wee bit of silly. Um, but anyway, I had a wonderful time today. I'm very, very interested in next week. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Dan, you're up. Uh, yeah, hi. I'm uh, I'm Aaron Black. Uh, I'm a... Uh, <laughs> A published author uh, of an incredible book that you can get easily. Uh, <laughs> called Firewall uh, who also Down. Is an Sorry. Thank you. Uh, no, you're good. Uh, it's I know you have a hard Down. time Find shouting Amazon. yourself out and shouting out your book, so I just thought I'd yeah. jump in there and, and help you out. Thank you. I, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh. I can. Uh... Not me. Keep going. Oh, you're, no, you're good. You're good. You're Aaron. Uh, by you, I mean Brad. I, because I'm, I'm Aaron so Black. You're Aaron. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I've got incredible uh, acting talent, which is why I can step into the very end of the show and be an info dump for everybody w flawlessly, without any, w uh, without stepping on anyone's toes and nailing the lore, no matter what. So uh, yeah, follow me at Aaron B Writes on Twitter, where that's all the information you can get from uh, really cool stuff like buying my book. Anyway, did everyone go? Even though they were doing shouting out other people. <laughs> Confused we because anyone? it's still me and Drac. <laughs> <laughs> I already done it. I went first. Oh fuck, you but, did. Uh, yeah. Wait, so who wasn't shouted out? Meyer wasn't shouted out, right? Yes. Neither yeah. was Johnny. So you shout out Johnny. I'll shout out Meyer. Go. Okay. Hi, I'm Johnny Blams. Uh, I stream lots of role play. I have a wonderful range, but I also like to terrorize my friends and make very awful decisions all the time um, that always lead to way better story. Um, you can catch me on my channel periodically playing cowboys, particularly ones that kill people, <laughs> like people in this cast, um, and then hop on a funeral like and cry about it <laughs> on another character. <laughs> uh, yep, you can follow me as Johnny Blams on uh, on Twitch. Do you have, wait? Do you have a Twitter, Johnny? I do. Yeah. Uh, yep, it's jo on, on Twitter too. <laughs> yep. All right, Meyer, you're next. Hello, hi, I'm Meyer. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Meyer or on Twitter at Meyer underscore test, which is my favorite thing of all time. <laughs> I am super badass, <laughs> motherfuckers, and you should follow me. That's it. Now, before my brain shuts off, thank you guys so much. Oh, it's shutting off. Fuck, I tried to fucking tried to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Rate review the podcast, everybody. <laughs> Follow table oh. story, sub to table story. There are oh, other no, shows it's emotions. as well. Oh, her... uh, Ashes of Ariador on th Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursdays. Thursdays. Uh, Wednesday yeah. is 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 Spellwind still going? Spellwind. Spellwind. Yep. Spellwind. Spellwind. And then Sunday, Brad's... Rise of the Apprentice. Yeah. yeah Rise Brad's of the Apprentice. Star Wars nerd stuff on Saturday. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys for being just like super incredible. Thank you everybody for watching. Next week will be the finale of Kingmakers. Um, and we'll see you there. Fuck. I was gonna say something else and I forgot what it was. It's gone. I love you all. You're incredible. This show has been amazing. And we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Hi. Leah's just like gone. <laughs> <laughs>